Today I'd like to talk to you about receiving Hevic or H.265 channels on free satellite TV. Now Hevic stands for High Efficiency Video Coding. It's also known as H.265 and it's a more advanced coding system that allows higher compression of video signals without sacrificing video quality. Now what this means is, is that broadcasters can squeeze more channels onto a satellite transponder without sacrificing the quality of the picture and cable companies and paid direct to home satellite services can squeeze even more channels into a given bandwidth using Hevic as opposed to its predecessor MPEG-4 or H.264. Now there's not a lot of channels on free satellite TV using the Hevic compression format, but going into the future, it's likely that more broadcasters are going to gravitate towards H.265 in order to make the most efficient use of available bandwidth. And in North America, you might see on Linksat or TVROSat some channels that are using Hevic, but most of those at this point are encrypted pay channels. Now in North America, most free satellite TV channels are still using MPEG-4 H.264 codec, and some channels are even using an older format known as MPEG-2. So if you have an H.264 receiver, you should be just fine to receive almost all free satellite TV channels available. But going forward and thinking about the future, if you want to pick up H.265 channels and be able to decode them properly, then you need a receiver capable of doing that. Now, you don't have to run out and buy an H.265 receiver this moment. There's only one transponder in North America that actually uses Hevic on free satellite TV. That is on satellite 117 West KU band, also known as 116.8. That's its proper orbital slot. And there's one transponder there that has 14 channels available and the video quality is quite good on them. And today, what I'd like to do is actually test out all of the receivers that I own and find out which ones can properly decode these Hevic channels and which ones can't. Now, I do get questions time to time about this satellite from viewers saying that they're having trouble locking these channels. And a lot of viewers may automatically assume that their dish is not adjusted, but that's not necessarily the case. It could simply be a matter of your receiver not being able to decode H.265 coded channels. So to set this test up, what I did was I drove my motorized KU band dish over to 117 West KU, and we're going to connect each receiver one at a time and run a blind scan and see which receivers can decode these channels correctly and which ones won't. And the results. The Amico Mini HD265 and Amico Mini 4K S2X receivers had no trouble decoding these H.265 channels. The GT Media V7S was not able to decode these channels. There was no sound and no picture. But to be fair, this is an H.264 MPEG-4 receiver, and I haven't had any trouble using this for any other channels on free satellite TV. The GT Media V9 Prime receiver was able to decode all these channels with good clear picture and sound. And testing out my portable satellite meters, the GT Media V8 was able to scan these channels in, however, it was not able to produce a picture, only the sound. And interestingly enough, it actually filed these channels under radio channels, presumably because it was only able to decode the audio. And the Sat Hero 400 HD portable satellite meter was not able to decode the picture, only the sound, but I did notice that it did recognize these channels as being Hevic encoded. And one other receiver that I do have that I did not test out was this Coquit K1 free satellite TV receiver. Now it says right on the box, this is an H.264 receiver, so I didn't bother testing this one. And the other reason I didn't test this is because I recently bought the next model up here, the Coquit V5H receiver, which is an H.265 Havoc receiver. So I thought I would save those two for another video.
If you are interested in receiving H.265 Hevic channels, and likely you're going to see more channels start to use this compression format as time goes on, when you're shopping for a new receiver, this is probably a feature that you want to get. However, when you are looking around online, make sure the receiver you're buying clearly states on the box that it is capable of decoding H.265 or Hevic channels because Hevic and H.265 are buzzwords just like HDTV, 4K, Next Gen, Digital TV, and sometimes shopping websites will throw all that stuff into the description, even if the actual receiver is not capable of H.265 decoding. Just be careful and make sure that it clearly states on the box or packaging that it is capable of H.265 Hevic decoding.